stars for the beauty. But in the hit Broadway play, A Few Good Men, he plays a driven Marine officer who reminds some theater goers of Oliver North. Mark McEwen spoke with Perlman recently about both roles and his career. Brian, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning to you. Your character, Colonel Nathan Jessup. Mm. Not a nice guy. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> depends on what point of view you're taking. <laughs> well, the one thing I'm I... I'm sure he thinks he's I, a great I think guy. He thinks he's a great guy. Yeah. And you look like you're having an absolute ball playing this character on stage. I'm having a great time. Um, I was probably more terrified uh, at the prospect of playing this part than I think almost anything else I've ever played. Because I do not have um, a military uh, point of view at all. Um, I'm, you know, the most easygoing. I mean, my background is anything but militaristic and my... Uh, mindset is anything but militaristic and this is a guy who is quintessential in that mindset um and um i didn't get the script till after i was hired which is a very dangerous way to go about it i mean you know um, and uh, also very rare you know uh when i got the script i was already en route to new york on a plane i was reading it and uh i remember <laughs> searching <laughs> very, very uh, heatedly for my return trip ticket to, to see if I could <laughs> figure out a way to get out of this. Thing. Well, let me ask you a question. Where do you, or what's the process of seeing the words on paper to fleshing out this character? The script is, uh, is the road map, and um, there is a journey from when you first see a character to where he ends up in, the, in, a, in a play. And, the better written the play is, the clearer the journey. It's been, it's been quite an interesting stretch for me. Because this guy is more of a monster than the beast that I played for three years with four hours of makeup on. I mean, that was very close to me. Speaking of which, there are a lot of people that come to see you in this play because of, uh, of Vincent. And um, do you ever tire of people bringing him up? Ever tire of them saying, we'd like to see him again or being uh, associated with Vincent? Well, um, I hate to see people disappointed, and uh, the people who want to see Vincent come back, I'm afraid, I don't know what their fate will be. Um, but uh, no, one never tires of, of, of getting that much back. I think that when one goes into this industry, it's because one tastes of the exchange that takes place between an artist and his audience. Why well, come back to... Uh the boards? Why come back to doing a play when you have been in the land of television for the last five or six years? Um, well, the, the, I'm interested in anything that, it, that has the potential to be distinguished and that has a tremendous amount of integrity um, and that has a part in it for me that will interest me insofar as it's something that I've never had a chance to explore before. This particular job fit all, the, all those criteria to a T. Um, it's a first-rate company um, uh, being produced by guys who, when I was growing up in this city, and where theater was my world, were, um, you know, legendary. The Schuberts and uh, Robert Whitehead and Roger Stevens and, and those guys. And uh, now I get a chance to play in their ballpark, and it's like going to the show, like what they call the show and when you're in the minor leagues. And it's, it's, um, the theater is something that I've never abandoned. That, you know, you just do this for a while, and then you do that for a while. And if you're lucky enough, you get a chance to explore all the media, uh, because they're all unique and singular. And um, they offer different things, different, uh, different challenges to you. Well, Ron, A Few Good Men is the play. Uh, Colonel Nathan Jessup. You're outstanding as the colonel. Well, thank you, Thanks Mark. for being with us. Pleasure. Thank you.